Let's go ahead and thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank God for yourself, thank God for your life. Thank God for your family. Thank God, oh, thank God. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you thanks, our Father. We give you praise. We give you glory. We honor you. We exalt you, our God. We magnify you. You are wonderful. You are great. Just exalt God. Exalt his name. Exalt him. Magnify him. The most high. The ancient of days. Lord God Almighty, we bless your name. Our loving Father. Our loving King. The creator of heaven and earth. The creator of the universe. Oh God, we well, thank you so much. Thank you, Almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Beloved brothers and sisters, welcome to day six of this time of refreshing, the last for the year 2022. And we will continue to um, follow up with other programs as God Almighty by His Spirit leads us. Glory be to God. Our God has been wonderful. Our God has been very good to us. God has been wonderful. God has been kind and has seen us to this very moment. So we we'll give him thanks. We give him praise. We give him glory. Beloved, we want to start right away. And I want us to just take our opening prayer. Let us all just join and start thanking God. You know, this program is called Time of Refreshing uh, in the Holy Spirit. That's the full um, uh, title or designation of this program. And we're just playing that song, Fill My Cup, Lord. I want us to just start with that and tell him, Heavenly Father, I just thank you for the time of refreshing. I thank you for the Holy Spirit you have given to me, you have given to us. Go ahead and just give God thanks. Go ahead, give him thanks. Thank you, Lord, for this time of refreshing. And thank you for your spirit that you have made available to us. We thank you so much. We are so grateful. We are so so, 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 so grateful, so pleased, Lord. We really don't have words to express this goodness, giving us your Holy Spirit, pouring your spirit upon us. We are so grateful and thankful. Just go ahead and thank him for his grace that has been upon us, been upon this program, been upon your life. Thank God for his grace. Lord, we'll thank you. And now go ahead and tell him, Heavenly Father, I thank you for making it possible for me to be here today, and I surrender all to you. Go ahead and hand over the meeting down to him and tell him, Father, take over the meeting. Take over this meeting. Father, take over this meeting. Today, let your spirit, your power, your presence manifest in a greater dimension in our lives. In the name of Jesus, pray now for the ministry who will speak. <laughs> pray for me, pray for yourself, and that as we pray, the Spirit of God will lead us. Everything we do will be led by the Holy Spirit. Oh, God Almighty, I yield myself to you. I submit to your, to your will totally. Lead me, lead my brothers, my sisters, pour your Spirit upon us afresh. Oh, God, Holy Spirit, take over and help us. To pray as we ought to pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. So, Heavenly Father, we agree as we have asked. Please take over this meeting. Pour your spirit upon us afresh. We, in unison, yield ourselves to your Holy Spirit. And ask now, Holy Spirit, everything that is done here, let it be you who does it. Everything that is done here, may you be the one that does it. Everything, every word that is spoken here, may, may you be the one that speaks it through us. And let God Almighty be glorified. Let our Lord and our King, our Savior, Jesus Christ, our divine Jubilee be glorified. In Jesus' name we have prayed. 
Amen. Beloved brothers and sisters, today, day six, our focus is in the beginning, it was not so. In the beginning, it was not so. I believe you had time to read some of the scriptures we shared, so we're not going to read all of them. Uh, we want to go straight uh, into prayer. But before we do that, let's just again um, uh, give us some understanding. Let's start from the recap. The recap in day one, we started with a retreat, looking at the spirit of grace and supplications and strength for retreat. God helped us mightily and poured his spirit of grace and supplication upon us and has given us strength, which is why we are here today. Day two, we looked at uh, neg uh, negative and evil triggers. And we prayed for the almighty God to destroy every negative trigger in our lives that robs us of our blessings, hinders us to attain a time and moment of glory, and God Almighty did it for us, has done it for us. Day three, oh, beauty for ashes. Oh, God Almighty, it's been glorious. Jesus Christ, our substitute and our divine jubilee, has taken the place of ashes by his death, and as he resurrected, yeah, we have resurrected with him into a new newness of life. And we have received all that he has declared, proclaimed for our lives according to the law of the divine jubilee. 13 points that we raised there. All are for us to enjoy. Therefore, refreshed by God's Holy Spirit. And we were mightily renewed and God, and we received the gift of the Holy Spirit. So we we'll carry that into day five, exercising my faith, your faith, our faith, and minister to ourselves according to the word of God. And the spirit of God led us, Jesus himself, who is the healer, our healer, our deliverer, our everything. Oh, manifested his mighty works in healing, deliverance, miracle signs and wonders in his name in our lives. In the six, we are here today. In the beginning, it was not so. So what are we looking at here? Today, we are to examine our lives, goals, desires, and dreams and compare it to what God said it should be, or they should be. What did God say they should be? So anything short is what we're saying in the beginning, it was not so. Because as the Bible makes us to understand in Genesis chapter 1, verses 27 and 28, and then follow up in uh, Genesis chapter 2, or in this uh, Genesis chapter 2, the Bible, the, sorry, the same Genesis chapter 1, rather, in verse 30, everything God made, everything God created was very good, very good. So God created you very good. How did God create you? Very good. The Father Sammy says, I will praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. And this my heart knows very well. Oh, I pray that you will understand and have this revelation. God made you very good, made me very good, made us very good, made the whole world very good. So new beginning is that God, as through his son Jesus Christ, restore everything to that very good state in our lives. If you are in Christ Jesus, you are a new creation, I am a new creation, and we have been restored to that original blessing of God. Glory be to God. And so examine your own life. We're to examine and come 
Is there anything short of God's standard, God's expectation in your life? Your desires and dreams in line with God's words, God's words and goals, bring them and let us present them to him, the God of new beginning. We also to check the 13 blessings listed in the new beginning teaching, a new, new beginning part two, please. Check that video uh, and look at those 13 blessings and then look at areas that we believe will fall short and bring them. For example, point number seven in that teaching is God's abundant and unlimited favors. God's abundance, God's abundance and unlimited favor. So prosperity is here and it is your portion. Oh, the Bible says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. He, number three is healing and health. It is number three points. So there is so much blessing God has given us, and all this belongs to you and I, belongs to us, the children of God in Christ Jesus, to enjoy. Is there any of this short? So from that point seven, God's abundance and unlimited favors. It means that poverty is not permitted in your life. No, 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 no. I'm not just talking about um, the cajoling prosperity talk. I'm not just talking about the so seed, so seed, so seed, and I will pronounce and you will become rich. No. The blessing of Abraham, God made a covenant with Abraham through whom we all have become his children by Christ Jesus, the son of God, the son of David, the son of Abraham, hallelujah. Jesus has reconciled us to this original covenant and God prospered Abraham, he said in blessing, I will bless you. In multiplication, I will multiply you. This is what we are talking about. So poverty, the real, real, real prosperity is your portion, is my portion. Poverty is not part of the covenant. It's not part of what made for you and I in the beginning. And so poverty must go and must be substituted, replaced with the blessing of God's sustenance and unlimited favors, God's prosperity for you in Jesus' name, for me in Jesus' name. So let's quickly look at Matthew chapter 19, verse B, uh, uh, verse 8B, rather, Matthew chapter 19, verse 8B, which is where we've taken uh, these texts. In the beginning, it was not. So, and we're looking at discovery, recovery, and advancement of my destiny and your destiny, our destiny. We must discover our destiny in God. According to these blessings we're talking about, what God ordained for you in the beginning, whatever is short must be recovered. You must be restored. And and not just being recovered, not just discovering it, but to continually advance to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, the fullness of God's grace for your life, for my life, in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's read Matthew chapter 19, verse 8b. But from the beginning, it was not so. But from the beginning, it was not so. Did you see that? So, what is it in your life that was not so in the beginning? It must go now. You must, you know, how do I put it? Enforce, yes. Rebel against it, reject it, and enforce 
what God said must be in your life in the beginning. And what did God say? When God created you, when God created me, he said everything was very good. So it's time for us to pray. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Are we ready to pray? Are we ready to pray? Glory be to God. Raise your voice with me to heaven and say, Our Father in heaven, thank you for your goodness, mercies, and love towards me, my family, and all humankind. Thank you, Almighty God. I thank you so much, my Father. I thank you, Almighty God, my Father in heaven. Go ahead and pray. Thank him, thank him, Lord. I thank you for your goodness, for your mercies and love towards me, my family, and all humankind. Thank you. It is because of your goodness that we are alive today. It is because of your goodness with all the terrible things, the wickedness on earth, but by your goodness, by your mercy, we have not been consumed. And so we thank you, our God, for your goodness, your mercies, and love towards me. Thank you for that love that made you to send your son, Jesus Christ, to come and die for me, die for us, pay the price for the redemption of mankind. Lord God Almighty, we thank you for your love. Your love is so great. Your love is so awesome towards us. We are grateful and we're thankful. Receive all praise, our God, in Jesus' mighty name. Let's go ahead and thank him again and say thank you for you created the heavens, the earth, and all things. Pray that with me. Thank you, almighty God, for you created the heavens, the earth, and all things, and made everything very good, including me. Almighty God, I thank you. I thank you for you created the heaven and the earth and all things and made everything very good, including me. I thank you for you made me very good, very good. When you created me, you created me very good. Your will, your purpose for my life is very good. According to your word, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 27, you created me in your image. The image of God is excellent. You are ex the excellent God. Thank you for creating me, oh God, in your image. And thank you for making everything very good from the beginning in my life. To you, almighty God, be glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Let's go ahead again and tell him, thank you, oh God of new beginning, for this time of refreshing program. Thank you, almighty God, for the success of day one for pouring your spirit of grace and supplication upon us, we thank you. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the success of day two, for destroying every evil and negative triggers in our lives and bringing us to your grand plan in, for our lives. We thank you, our God. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for day three, for giving us beauty for all representations of ashes. We thank you, Almighty God. We thank you, Almighty God, for day four, for you have refreshed us by your Holy Spirit. You renewed us, and you have given us the gifts of your Holy Spirit. We thank you, Almighty God, for day five, where by faith you helped us, you healed us, you delivered us, you wrought mighty miracles, signs, and wonders according to your mighty might by your spirit. That same spirit of God that raised our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ from the dead. Your spirit that quickens us. Father, we thank you. And we thank you specifically, Lord, for this day six. Oh, the day of re restoring all things. The day of helping us to discover, to recover, and advance in your destiny for our lives. Lord, we thank you so much. To you, our God, be all glory in the name of Jesus. Just go ahead and thank him on your own. Give God thanks. Thank him for your family again. Just thank him for the miracles, what God has done in your life. Go ahead and give him thanks. Go ahead and give him thanks. Give him praise. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we praise you. 
God, we exalt you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Now let's continue to pray. Raise your voice to heaven and say, Oh God of new beginning, the restorer of all things, restore me to your original blessings and glory for my life in Jesus' name. Oh God of new beginning, the God of new beginning, the God that has made everything very good, made everything perfect. You are the restorer of all things. Restore me to your original blessings and glory for my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. And this is the time now. What is that thing that is short in your life? When you look at what the provisions of God are, according to those 13 points that we mentioned, what are the things that are short? When you look at the plans you have set, the goals you have set for this year, what has gone short? Go ahead and present it before God now. Go ahead and present them before God. Go ahead and present them before God. Go ahead and present them before God. Almighty God, you are the God of new beginning. You are the restorer of all things. Father, restore me to your original blessings and glory for my life in Jesus' name. Go ahead and pray. I brought my own list. Go ahead and pray I, for your, 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 with your own list. What is the thing that is lacking? Or what are the things you are desiring? They must not always be what lacks. More importantly, what are you aspiring for according to God's divine ordinance? What God has ordained from the beginning? What is that thing? Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Present them, oh God of new beginning, the restorer of all things. Restore me to your original blessings and glory for my life. In the name of Jesus, what you have ordained for me from the beginning. Almighty God, restore me now. Restore us now. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Say, oh God of new beginning, help me to discover every aspect of your destiny for my life. In the name of Jesus, oh God of new beginning, help me to discover every aspect of your destiny for my life, hidden talents, gifts, things that I ought to, you have given me to excel, given me to enjoy these blessings, and yet I have not utilized it. Father, in any way, like the, uh, uh, the servant that buried the one talent that was given to him, I have not put to use your gift, your talent, my eyes have not been opened to the opportunities and privilege, the strength you have given to me and put in me by your spirit. Oh, God, help me to discover, to discover every aspect of your destiny for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead and ex expand that prayer. Pray it for yourself. Pray it for yourself. Pray it for your life. Pray it for yourself. Heavenly Father, help me. Help my brothers, help my sisters, help us, O oh God, to discover every aspect of your destiny for our lives. Help us, Lord God Almighty. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now go ahead and pray and say, O oh God of new beginning, I present all my plans, goals, and desires to you. Father God Almighty, let the lions fall unto me in pleasant places. Let the lions fall unto me in pleasant places. In anywhere that I have fallen short, realign me, realign my life with your destiny plan for my life, O oh God of, of, uh, of new beginning. Let the lions fall unto me in pleasant places. In any place, anywhere that my life, my life has fallen short, I have fallen short in my, in my goals, in the things that you have put in my heart, put in my, my mind to do, to pursue, in the things 
of God that I have set to do in order to glorify you, Father, in any way, that my life has fallen short of your standard, fallen short of the glory you have set for me to attain. Almighty God, realign me now and let the lines fall onto me in pleasant places. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and pray, O oh God of new beginning. Advance me according to your original destiny plan for my life. In the name of Jesus, advance me, O oh God of new beginning. Advance me according to your original destiny plan for my life. In Jesus' name. Now go ahead and call him and say, whatever God Almighty did not ordain for my life, I command you right now, cease from today. I reject you, I renounce you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Go ahead and pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Expand the prayer. Now pray for your family. Pray for your family. Pray for your spouse. Pray for your children. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. What will make it sharp? Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Almighty King. Thank you, Lord. I pray for my wife. I pray for my children. Almighty God, the God of new beginning, the restorer of all things, restore them. Restore my wife. Restore my children to your original blessings and glory for their lives. In the name of Jesus, what you have ordained for them, O oh God, what you have ordained for my family, according to your original blessings, according to the glory you have set, O oh God Almighty, let it be in my family, let it be unto us, be unto my wife, be unto my children, in the name of Jesus. Now let's join our voices and pray for one another. Almighty God, the God of new beginning, the restorer of all things, I pray for my brothers, I pray for my sisters, I pray for everyone connected upon this platform right now. Those that are connected on Zoom, those that are connected on Facebook, even those who will come to listen, oh God Almighty, on, on, on YouTube, Lord, I pray for them all. Father, the restorer of all things, Restore them all to your original blessings and glory for their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are prayed. Amen. We're going to pray further. I want us to look at um, 2 Kings chapter 8. 2 Kings chapter 8. Glory be to God. And we're going to read quickly verses uh, 1 through 6, and then we will convert it to prayer. Let's pray. To, uh, let's read. Then Elisha spoke to the woman whose son he had restored to life, saying, Arise, and go, you and your household, and stay wherever you can. For the Lord has called for a famine, and furthermore, it will come upon the land for seven years. Two. So the woman arose and did according to the saying of the man of God. And she went with her household and dwelt in the land of the Philistines seven years, seven years. Three, it came to pass at the end of seven years that the woman returned from the land of the Philistines. And she went to make an appeal to the king for her house and for her land. Four. Then the king talked with Gehazi, the servant of the man of God, saying, Tell me, please, all the great things Elisha has done. Five, now it happened, as he was telling the king how he had restored the dead to life, that there was the woman whose son he had restored to life, appealing to the king for her house, for her land. And Gehazi said, My lord, O king, this is the woman, and this is her son, whom Elisha restored to life. Hallelujah. 
Verse 6, and when the king asked the woman, she told him. So the king appointed a certain officer for her, saying, Restore all that was hers and all the proceeds of the field from the day that she left the land until now. Raise your voice with me to heaven and say, Heavenly Father, appoint your officers, your officers that will minister to me to bring the fulfillment of all your destiny for my life. Appoint your officers, your divine helpers, O oh God Almighty. Send them both human and angelic to attend to me in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, appoint your officers to bring to pass your new beginning blessings, your divine destiny your, uh, for my life, for my family, and for every one of us now, Lord. Send them to us, both human and angelic, to bring to pass, to bring to the fulfillment all that you have set done to be in my life, in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Then raise your voice again to heaven and say, Heavenly Father, by your divine arrangement, by your divine arrangement and divine timing, oh, bring me. Bring me to the original blessing you have ordained for my life. By your outstretched arm, carry me, O oh God, on your eagle's wings. And let me be at the center of your will and your destiny for my life. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself. Father God, by your outstretched arm, your righteous right arm, your strong and mighty arm, O oh God, carry me, carry me, carry me on your eagle's wings, on the eagle's wings, and plant me in your original blessing and destiny for my life in the center of your will for my life in the name of Jesus. And we agree together. So let it be unto every one of us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Finally, Isaiah chapter 7, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7. I want to pray that prayer point again. Oh, thank you, Almighty God. Ah, pray with me and say, Oh, God of new beginning, the restorer of all things, Father God Almighty, Whatever you did not ordain for my life, let it cease now. Let it cease now. Whatever, almighty God, you did not ordain for my life, let it cease now. And so, almighty God, we agree together. Every tree you have not planted in our bodies, in our soul, in our spirit, Oh, we uproot it now. Father God, uproot it. I yield my entire body, my soul, my spirit to you. I yield my life in the spiritual, in the physical, in all realms and dimensions of life and existence in the material world, in the logical, social, mental, emotional, whatever level that exists, I yield to you, oh God, whatever you have not ordained. In the name of Jesus, uproot it from my life. Let it be uprooted. Let it cease now. Cease to walk, cease to function, cease to operate in my body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and read with me. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 7. Thus says the Lord, Thus says the Lord God, it shall not stand, nor shall it come to pass. We agree together, according to the word of God, that whatever God did not ordain in my life, in your life, in our families, according to his original blessings in, from the beginning, it ceases to walk now, it ceases to function in the name of Jesus. We shall see them no more. 
and it is written, affliction shall not rise. Shall not arise the second time. Affliction shall not rise the second time. So whatever God Almighty has uprooted now is uprooted forever. Whatever God has uprooted from my body, uprooted from your body, uprooted from your spirit, uprooted from my spirit, uprooted from our souls, uprooted from all spheres of life that concerns us spiritually, physically, materially, socially, whatever God has uprooted from our lives remain uprooted forever. They will never return now and forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10. Read it with me. Take counsel together, but it will not come. Take counsel together, but it will come to nothing. Speak the word, but it will not stand. For God is with us. Let's read that word together again. Take counsel together, but it will come to nothing. Speak the word, but it will not stand. For God is with us. Raise your voice to heaven and say, Heavenly Father, whatever was not so in the beginning, in my life, when you created me, whatever was not so that is in my life, oh God, we agree. Let it right now, right now, be restored, be restored to the original, original plan of God. And so every counsel, every counsel, every word, whatever, confession has been made against me, almighty God, according to your word, let it all come to nothing. Let it all come to nothing. Let every counsel against me, every counsel taken against me, taken against you, taken against my family, taken against us at any level of life and existence, according to the word of God, by the divine decree, Take counsel together, but it will come to nothing. Let them all come to nothing now and forevermore. Every word that has been spoken, every word that has been spoken against me, spoken against you, spoken against our family, in the name of Jesus, they are hereby and all. They will never stand, never stand, never stand. Even the words that I may have spoken that is negative, any word that may have ensnared me, ensnared you, in the name of Jesus, we annul it according to the word of God. Who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord commands it not? Who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord commands it not? Who is he that says a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord commands it not? Whatever God Almighty has not commanded, in my life, in your life, in our families, we agree. They will not stand. They will not come to pass. From now on, they are nothing. They are nothing. They are nothing in the name of Jesus. For it is written, there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. Now it must be said of Jacob, and of Israel. See what the Lord has done. It must be said of you and of me and our entire household. Come and see what the Lord has done. He has given us beauty for ashes. He has annulled every contrary word, every contrary counsel, anything that is contrary to the will of God. He has annulled. He has made them nothing. They are non-existent now and forevermore in the name of Jesus. Now raise your voice to heaven and say, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, the one who is Emmanuel, God with us, you are with me. You are with my family. Almighty God, the divine, your divine nature in me, let it show forth and let your divinity 
manifest in my humanity. Almighty God, let your divinity manifest in my humanity, in all aspects of life. Let your divine nature and your divine power manifest in my life, now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Go ahead and expand the prayer and add your own prayer. Take two minutes now and just pray for yourself. Specifically, look at your goals. Look at those things that you have compared with the blessing of the new beginning. And you say, this one, God, I need your hand. I need your help now. So go ahead and pray. 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 Present them before the Lord. The lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. The lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. Psalm 16, verses 5 and 4. Uh, verses 5 and 6, rather. Oh, Lord, you are the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You maintain my Lord. My Lord is maintained by the Lord. My Lord is maintained. Your Lord, our Lord. Our Lords are maintained by the Lord. Their lines are fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. Almighty God, all my goals, all my desires, in this year, 2022, I present them before you. Align me, align me, O oh God, align me, O oh God, align me, O oh God, according to your blessings. And Father, help me, help me, O oh God. Let the lines fall onto me in pleasant places that I will achieve all the goals. I have all my goals according to your will. All that I have set and have committed to you in order to please you, in order to glorify you in my life. Father, let all be achieved in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and mention them to the hearing of the Lord, for God is with us. As you heard there in Isaiah chapter 8, verse 10, God is with us, for God is with us, for God is with us. And God said, as you have spoken into my ears, to my hearing, so I will do. As you have spoken to my hearing, so I will do. The Lord will do for you, for me, everything he has ordained to be in our lives according to his original plan, original blessings and glory from the beginning. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. We want to close here. And so we want to agree. We want to agree. Hallelujah. We want to agree. Take time and look at your plans again. And look at those areas that you say, God, I need your touch here. I need your help here. And those areas you say, Father, I want you to advance me. Advance me. God of new beginning. Discovery, recovery, and advancement of my destiny, of your destiny, of our destiny. Oh, God Almighty, thank you so much. Are you ready? Let us agree. Hallelujah. According to Matthew chapter 18, verse 18, the Bible says, As surely I say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. 19. And again, again I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Raise your voice to heaven and let us agree. Say, Heavenly Father, we agree together. 
according to your word, that everything we have asked, and much more than we have asked, Father God, you are the one who can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we would ever think, desire, or ask. And so, Lord, in agreement, we ask that you do with that which we have asked and do that which only you, by your almighty power, the God of new beginning, only you can do. Father God, do your perfect will in our lives and let us discover and recover and advance to the fullness, the perfect state of your destiny for our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And in Jesus' mighty name, we have agreed. Amen. So declare with me, I am in Christ. All things have passed away, and all things have become new for me. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is where we'll uh, close, brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for coming. We will continue tomorrow is the grand finale. So we'll take the announcement quickly. Tomorrow being Sunday by 11 a.m., we will have the concluding teaching on in the beginning, it was not so, this new beginning teaching. And we will have ministration. So uh, make it a date to attend 11 a.m. tomorrow, Sunday. And then by 6 p.m. tomorrow, Sunday, we will close finally with Holy Communion. So take time now, today, tomorrow, or remain this evening and tomorrow and prepare, continue to prepare yourself. Of course, we are still waiting with fasting and prayer throughout tomorrow. So we will come to break with Holy Communion. Uh, and because of this, we will not have the Holy Communion in the first week of December. But I will announce to us the program that we are going to have in the first, first second, third December, that as uh, I was led to announce to us. I said I'll provide the details uh, what is going to be. So that's how we will run. And let's bring this meeting to a close now. Oh, thank you, almighty God. I know the Lord has done mighty things for us, so tomorrow we'll have a time for testimony. Let us share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh God of New Beginning, for answering all our prayers in the name of Jesus. And we return all glory to you for how you have led us today. In Jesus' name, amen.